Welcome back to the channel. Alright, I'm going to try to make a video out of nothing here, guys, because I it's Saturday morning, and I haven't got you guys a video last weekend, so here we go. I'm going to try to make something up here. Bear with me. Um, this is the Motovox build. Started out as a Motovox mini bike, and I extended the rear end. And if you uh, please go back and watch the rest if you're interested. Part one through I think this is part six, but I did get a new lid for it. It's a weld on. I had my buddy Keith weld it. He did great on these welds because they weren't done at 12 o'clock at night. Unlike these guys, they were done late at night after a bunch of beer but I haven't tried putting fuel in it yet I got, I got the brass screw in part to go to the fuel or the carburetor sorry about the wind and the leaves I've been fighting these things constantly out of my garage um, I have the electric start hooked up thanks to Boneyard Garage he helped me out a lot with that and um, I did notice that the intake got loose so that last burnout we did it was probably leaking air big time still ran good though okay so I got a battery in here I got a battery or the ground right here going to the motor and then this is good the ground here is going up to where my switches and stuff are going to be um, we'll go to the other side here in a minute I did uh get a new tire on here this is a six inch rim now and it's a uh, uh, I i can't remember the size it's like 7.5 or something but she's nice and wide i still have to make a bracket for the brake caliber which i already have a plan for that oh guys i made this seat so you guys haven't seen this yet it's bolted on now but i sewed up the corners myself I mean, I've never sewn anything in my life, so I mean, it came out all right. I feel like I could do a lot better if I tried again, because I know what I did wrong now. Um, focus. So we also welded on these um, brackets here. I'm going to drill holes through and uh, put bolts up through there to bolt it down. There's one in the front. I'm just going to weld a bolt in the front coming up with like a rubber bushing underneath it. Alright, let's move on to these handlebars. <laughs> so Johnny brought me over these Harley Davidson handlebars, which I really like on there. I'm sure you guys do too. Let me know in the comments. And I ordered this twist grip off of uh, Amazon or eBay. I'll, I can't remember at the moment. I'll put the link up. But they're the only one inch diameter uh, twist throttle I could find. And for one, this thing doesn't stay in there it should 90 you know it should 90 back this way it, it looks like crap coming straight down like that and it's way too long it's way too long probably because it's for a Harley or something and this cable parts way too long and that ball on the end is way too big they feel janky like it's not smooth at all like it's hard to twist it gets stuck it doesn't spring back they're garbage. I wouldn't buy them, but it's like the only ones I could find. Um, I did get the headlight bracket welded on, and I put a fog light light bulb inside of it. It's probably going to melt this lens, but we'll see what happens with that. And I ran the positive wire through this metal here and just grounded it right there, but it's it's tacked on right now. And I uh, got it hooked up to a switch here, but I haven't tied it all in. I did all those connections right there with uh, solder and heat shrink. Um, I still need to put some tape around it once I get it all hooked up and whatnot. Here's the starter switch. I'm not too happy with the way this looks. I tacked it on there. I can cut it off, you know. It's no big deal. I got a, another one up there, but I'm not really liking the one I got either, but it does officially work which is sweet so yeah it just has a battery this goes to the battery 
and then this positive goes to the starter and that's pretty much it and I have this little power lead I brought off of the hot side of this I need to put a fuse in there I know and then I can plug my light into that and that ground I showed you I brought it back suey come on puppy I split it up into four different grounds in case I want to run other stuff other lights or whatever I'll have extra grounds all right so that's that painting a butt dog here I'm sure a lot of you can can understand that all right so the exhaust is going to probably be one of the last things I do just so I know you know which way I need to go to clear everything because I still want to put some braces back here I want to do a brace from like here to the bottom of the seat following this line right here um here's the other side of the seat <laughs> great work right um I ordered another wheel it's the same height as this 12 and 12.5 inches tall and it should be in soon I also ordered a brake hand hydraulic brake with the little cylinder or the reservoir up here on the handlebars since I have that caliber I want to put on here so yeah I'm sorry this video is all talking for now guys but I promise you I'm gonna start filming again from here I've just been busy you know work and small engine nation I've been helping them guys out trying to get it back together again but oh yeah so the battery I mounted it a uh, lawn and garden battery in there I know what you guys are thinking why, why such a big ass battery well there's a couple reasons one it's cheap two I told my wife that I bought it for the lawnmower um, three it's got plenty of cranking power I'll never run out you know what I mean and four because I can <laughs> but yeah oh boy I'm already filming camera lady is fired I got time for that but I think I'm gonna drill holes in here for the switches for the other switches kill switch and light switch so another thing I gotta do is this clutch bolt is or the shaft is too long so I'm gonna mark this and cut this it's like a almost a half an inch sticking out and I got this torque converter cover brand new I'm gonna cut it out for the chain in the back and I can also take about three inches off of the actual size from here back I could just cut it off and I'm gonna make some brackets here we did the same thing on uh, the big block to cover up his clutch make some brackets there and then this will be on there I think that'll look pretty good but you gotta think it'll be a lot smaller than that you know it won't stick out quite that far and then the final thing so I gotta get the right size pipe you know so I can cut this pipe here and it'll go into here or tube whatever and I'm gonna bend it following the lines coming up probably tie into about where that switch is and then I can have my pegs come off of that and it'll just make the bike a little wider in the front which will help it match the back I think and the pegs won't have to be so long to come out away from that clutch you know and the pull start on the other side so yep that's it that's all I have to do once I get that done once I figure out the throttle cable hook all the fuel lines up you know brakes will probably be the last thing always but I do want to test ride it again before I tear it all apart and uh, let me know what you guys think thanks for watching the video we'll see you in the next one